Welcome back, this is Trillius with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. It's been quite some time since we've visited the Dolphins, a lot of San Diego Crusaders in between, but now we are back in Miami and we are going to be spending some time with our favorite franchise team out of Miami. <laughs> I've been quite enjoying the Crusaders, do check that out, um, it is a very different premise. Uh, today we're going to be playing Buffalo week 7 of uh, this new regular season here. So far we're 3-3. Three and three. Uh, The past weeks have really been ups and downs in terms of uh, emotions. Uh, Steelers loss, the Jets loss, both a little bit on the closer side I would say. The Steelers not as much, but the Jets definitely. Then two wins against the Saints and Falcons, that was awesome. Then a loss against the Ravens, close again. And then a super close win against the Cowboys. Take a look at that episode if you didn't watch it already. It, it, it is absolutely crazy. <laughs> crazy that we got that done. But it was a super fun episode. Uh, in the end, very happy that we got away with the win. Today, uh, we don't have that much to take care of. We only have the players to negotiate, of course. We're going to take a look at the Buffalo Bills roster. And then we're going to be doing weekly strategy and the upgrades, of course. Uh, let's take a look at the players that are ready to negotiate. We do have Karim Kosioglu, who we cannot uh, re-sign yet. I do hope that will become available at some point in time. Sammy Watkins will not be getting a new deal. Jimmy G, no new deal. Tyler Shadley, no new deal. But what's this? Emmanuel Ogba. I do want to keep him around. He is uh, a major, major factor actually at D-Tackle at the moment. Uh, definitely a player that I want to give a nice deal to really think he's he is a major impact and if at some point in time he does turn to what's being a, a mentor or a backup i would gladly keep him around so i will give him a long-term deal i i don't think that we want to get rid of him um, if he resigns with us that would be absolutely awesome i'm going to give him 3.5 mil salary and a nice bonus to sort of sweeten the deal and uh, Emmanuel Opa stays with us for the foreseeable future, which is awesome. Channing Tindall is a week 11 negotiation. Jimmy Ward is uh, way back. Bobby Wagner as well. Those two nice players, I'm not quite sure if I want to keep them around long term, but giving them one year deals, why ever not? Um, so with that said, we've completed the negotiations. That was important. Um, let me show you what I did sort of off screen i took a look at the at the lineups and um i remembered that michael mayer uh, had a little bit of a of a weird helmet uh going for him you can't see it here but i just changed his helmet everything else is unchanged for him um, and then when i took a look at the practice squad i noticed that we have a super high ranked d tackle here this is wilburn Player uh, Forrest Wilburn, I picked him in free agency, 25 years old, 81 overall out of Vanderbilt. He's super interesting actually. Um, and I will be signing him to the regular squad. We're gonna have to cut the player there and that is not gonna be difficult because uh, we do have Keyshawn Silver who is a 71 rated player. He's a player in his first year though, or in, in his second professional year, uh, but he's 71 rated. I will be moving him to the practice squad and he can develop there without any pressure. That should give us enough time to, to really focus on all the other players. Apart from that, I'm super happy with where we stand right now. Can't really wait to get into the uh, next game. We've got uh, Brad Wheeler here still waiting for his reveal of the dev trade. But apart from that, the team is looking so solid. We've got everybody locked down in pretty long-term deals as well. So that is absolutely great. Kicker, punter are solid. Uh, and the practice squad is filled to the brim with high quality players. I mean, look at this 76 rated, 75 rated, 76 back here. And every player above 70. That is the first time I've ever had that. And an absolute awesome situation to be in because we can just grab players from here, drag them up into the first squad should the need arise. And that is great very good position to be in uh, with that said let's take a look at the buffalo bills roster quarterback for the buffalo bills of course josh allen such a great qb to have such a great qb uh, 
there as a franchise quarterback. He's just ticking all of the boxes there. He's the fifth best ranked QB in the game at the moment at a rating of 99. Just let that sink in. Looking absolutely dangerous. Behind him, Pat Landry, a rookie. And Gardner Minshew as the backup QB. Pat Landry actually has a hidden death trait, 74 rated. Looking pretty good. High throw power, good throw on the run. Definitely not shoving away uh, Josh Allen yet, but a uh, good prospect for the future. Cam Akers is uh, a player at the Bills. We traded him there. We got Greg Rousseau. That was a fantastic pick after we uh, brought him in from free agency. We've got Alex Madison still there, James Cook, and Franklin Ash. Fullback is Luke Craig. He's in his first professional year. Wide receivers, Stefan Diggs, a superstar X-Factor wide receiver, 97 rated, number 12 ranked wide receiver. The depth is so tight at the top 15, 97 superstar X-Factor, and he's only the 12th best wide receiver in the game. That is absolute madness in my opinion. It just shows you how, how high the quality is in this league. Uh, next up, we've got Cape Davis, 26 and 93, two really elite wide receivers. We've got Donovan Peoples-Jones, we've got Khalil Shakir, Johnny Burrell, and Sterling Arsenault. And uh, these two, uh, or these three, I would say, are decent backups to have. Donovan Peoples-Jones, certainly a good player, but these two, absolute elite. Tight end Cole Kmet, he is formerly, of course, a Chicago Bear. Uh, then he was with the Minnesota Vikings for a year. And now he's with uh, the Buffalo Vikings. Solid uh, tight end, if I ever saw one. Ari Gilbert is growing super quick as well. 84 rating, 22 years old. And these two are just going to be very, very tough to stop in the tight end room. We've got Pierre Harrison, a rookie. Uh, we've got the left tackle, Dion Dawkins, Luke Tenuta, and Tracy Queen. Dion Dawkins, we already covered that one, of course. But he's been with Buffalo for the past few years since 2018 when he was picked in the draft Osiris Torrance he's a fantastic new player he's 23 87 overall out of Florida and uh, from the 2023 draft great left guard to have such a high rating Mitch Morris the center 33 83 Ethan Heinemann is his backup Mitch Morris I believe he was with the Buffalo Bills before uh, since joining from the Chiefs, yes. Right guard is Ryan Bates. We've also got Jesse Stauber behind him. So again, if the first starter is uh, injured, then the backup certainly will be able to hold the quality. Right tackle Dylan Reduns and Brandon Slate. Dylan Reduns, he joined from another team. Yeah, he came from the Tennessee Titans. Solid tackle, nothing crazy, but at, the, at that uh, 80 rating, uh, with the high strength and the awareness he's certainly a very good blocker to have so as a quick recap this offensive line is looking really nasty pair the tight ends pair the running backs pair the wide receivers and the quarterback and you understand the high rating left edge jt Tumolo and justin arnett justin arnett one of those superstar dev trade maybe a little bit wasted on a 61 overall player unless you play him each game but the uh, jt Tumolo. Uh, with a normal death rate 79 certainly higher rated and certainly a very very good looking prospect at that position right edge jonathan greenard is injured he was uh, with another team who was with the houston texans up to 2023 since 2024 he's a buffalo bill now injured behind him perry pierman a rookie d tackle malik mcdowell TJ Slayton Jr. and Spencer Bushrod. I believe that they're playing with one D tackle, so it's basically a no tackle situation. 78 rated normal dev trade. Looking pretty solid since joining from the Chargers before he was with the Detroit Lions and with the Cleveland Browns in 2021. So quite the journeyman here. TJ Slayton behind him as the backup. The left side linebacker Terrell Bernard. He's a Buffalo Bill from before. Eh, Maybe the first a little bit weaker player right there. Midline backer, Pat Queen. I believe he was a free agent uh, in the 2023 uh, year and it was snapped up by Buffalo in 2024. Since then, he's been there. 116 solo tackles, 151 
tackles in total. I mean, that is absolutely crazy, man. Not that many sacks on the year. Uh, tackles for loss, 10. Zero interceptions. But those tackles, Jesus Christ, man. He's going to be very dangerous. Josie Jewell and Earl Brown are also there. Right outside the linebacker Matt Milano, super solid linebacker to have at that position. Davian Taylor is uh, the backup here. Cornerback Tredavious White, superstar corner. He's going to lock things down, left, right, center, super dangerous. And uh, I don't think that there's much more to add to that, apart from we're going to have to be very, very cautious when passing the ball. Dante Jackson as a backup. Kyer Elam, super quality player, so dangerous. Denzel Swift, Christian Benford. I think Kyer Elam uh, is still a star of trade. I don't know if he was a superstar at some point in time, but uh, alone the speed, acceleration, agility, man coverage, and jumping combined make him a really dangerous opponent. Dante Jackson, don't think I have to add anything to this player. He's just super solid. Uh, he was with the Philadelphia Eagles, I believe. No, I think I'm confusing him. Uh, he was with the Carolina Panthers, of course, now with the Buffalo Bills since 2025. And Drew Davis White has always been with the Bills. Free safety, Justin Simmons behind him, Derek Davis Jr. And uh, this is just a high quality, uh, a high quality free safety to have. He is uh, joining from the Denver Broncos first year with the Bills here. Very dangerous starter only start of trade but uh, wouldn't really wouldn't really uh, write him off or not give him too much attention because if we do that he's gonna punish us Derek Davis jr a 22 year old 77 rated player here good backup strong safety Cameron curl Niles Hill so this defense is actually way more dangerous than it looks he's a Washington commander through and through but uh, joined the Bills in 2024 and has been holding down that strong safety position ever since. Miles Hildy backup kicker Caleb Gilmore with a crazy high kick power of 97. Jesus, man. And the punter is Mitch Wisnowski. All right. If you take a look at the overalls, it doesn't really look like it, but uh, 84 maybe is a little bit of an understatement here. So what are we going to do? I feel like we should limit the short passing to try and cut out uh, the passes to running backs, passes uh, to the wide receivers on the short route, and passes to tight ends as well. Uh, we're going to go with a full pad training here, but I think we will be splitting here not to put too much of an injury on any of these players. Uh, we could go with the corners, we could go with the starters for the corners and maybe for the d tackles as well let's go with that and i forgot to do that i also want to see noah sewell train a bit more here uh, apart from that i think we're good all right next up offensive game plan uh, this is where things get really tricky uh, we have been going with the run game a lot because Bijan is just a beast Throwing is uh, very dangerous due to Tredavis White. Uh, so I think we're going to go with the inside runs. Try and give Bijan as much power as we can. Full pad training here, of course. Let's put as much as we can into Talia. Uh, Bijan not really needed. Uh, Antoine Verab could use the starters, but I don't know why he's not listed here. The wide receivers are going to split. Or do we put this into the back? Uh, so now let's keep it on split. Same thing here. And across the board for the starting offensive line, we're gonna go with the starters. Let's try and put some more uh, experience points into them at the beginning of the new season. The focus players are set, so we only have to pick this here. We're gonna be aggressive. We're gonna sack the QB a lot of times. We're gonna allow 20 points or less gonna get 250 yards and we are of course going to get the turnover battle in our favor defense has completed training Emmanuel Ogba getting a little bit more fatigue here in comparison to the other D tackles that's due to his age always a little bit more impact here 
We're also focusing on Noah Sewell, so he's also getting a little bit more fatigue. Malachi Moore, Keely Ringo. Who else is going to go up a little bit? Talia went up, but I don't see any injuries, and that is the most important thing. Austin Jackson, and Tyler Smith, Patterson, Muti, and Skoronsky. And no injuries. Bear that in mind. Most important thing for me. Let's upgrade the players here. Nick Bolton gets an upgrade. We're going to put this into a run stopper. Such a fantastic mid linebacker. I'm so happy that we got him. And he's locked down super long term as well. That is great. To the year 2030. <laughs> and uh, he's going to be the mid linebacker to drive us forward. Jevon Holland. Let's give him an upgrade as well. 92 rated right now. Same thing. Let's take a look at the contract here. Also a long-term deal, 2030. And that is the most important thing. Just get those players that are really important for, for, for driving the team and then hold them as long as you can. Uh, Michael Mayer will be up for a new contract next year. So this will be a situation. Talia, we're going to put this into Improviser 85 now. He is looking better and better. What about his contract? Also next year, but he's still on a very cheap deal because he is still on that rookie contract. Forrest Wilburn, that's the new D tackle that we did bring in. I'm gonna put this into uh, this category here, the run stopper, of course, uh, just getting to improve at some point in time. We might be able to use him as a starter. Johnny Gunter, really really growing nicely here in the halfback room we've got no pressure on him of course with uh, Bijan and DeAndre Swift leading the way power back is the next category that we're going to put points into break tackle stiff arm and trucking and he's doing that with such beauty I can't even begin to tell you he will have a new contract extension up next year so this is something where we might have to work hard to re-sign him but he's definitely a player that i want to re-sign at any cost there is uh, nothing that will be too expensive here let's see we could reveal the death trait of brad wheeler but i don't want to do that i want to i want to be uh, be patient here and let us be surprised okay this is the free agency tab these are the trade situations um, i'm gonna slap some points in here and it just uh, nope i'm gonna unlock all the tabs first there we go all right so a lot of points i've locked uh, these just uh, support us in getting free agents a little bit easier and over here these are uh, uh, facilitations towards trades with other teams. Here we are in Buffalo, home of the Buffalo Bills. And of course, the venue for today's game against the Miami Dolphins. Michael Mayer, last week's stats, 156 receiving yards, 14, enters, uh, 14 receptions, and a lot of touchdowns. He was the player of the game for me, and absolutely vital in getting that win against the Cowboys as always a tough opponent the Bills uh, are going to be entering second I am using the uh, third alternate uniform that we're going with this season it was a lucky uniform for us to go with it again and the Bills with their regular home uniform the blue and white and blue should give us good comparison on the field and with that said we are going to start the game. The Bills immediately on the board in the first quarter. Not too crazy about this, to be honest. But uh, we're going to get going. The halfback zone here, left-hand side run. Notoriously tough defense is what they have here. We're going to go the bench switch, looking for Chase. We also have Collins on the right side here. Ah, almost, almost held here. Let's go with an inside zone run. The bills are spread a little bit further out here. 
taken down after four yards, third and six. Let's go to slip screen, left hand side, Bijan Robinson. I want to get him going. And we're sacked. That was quick. Number 93. We lose yardage. Fourth and 12. And the Bills are always a tough team to play against. Very quick here by the number 93. That hurt a little bit. But uh, since we're the away team, things are difficult and dangerous. So we're going to go with Jack Fox here. Let's punt. Let's go for this. Oh, Jesus, that is super inaccurate. Well done. Well done, number nine. That was great. And Josh Allen out on, onto the field again. Come on, defense. Right, we can't hold them, only limit them. Let's go with a halfback inside zone rush here. Let's get Bijan going a little bit. A lot of power here, Tredavious White, but we get five yards with Bijan. Another one, left hand side run. Need to get back here. Third and one. All right, let's go with an ISO. Right hand side run. We're in the second quarter already, behind by 10 points and pushed back. Number six. That is Patrick Queen. Davis White is more of the uh, secondary player there. But that was just very tough. Very tough to break through here. And we, of course, have the elite players on the right here. Kicking meter moves slower. That is good for us. 73. Jesus, what a hit by number 19. I think that was Elam. Let's go to the mountain zone, left hand side. Bijan Robinson has activated his X Factor. He's now in the zone. For two DJ Johnson in motion. And did you see that stiff arm? <laughs> Bijan is such a beast. DJ Johnson, Michael Mayer. On the routes here. Smacked away. 42, not getting there. So, let's go with a halfback gut here. DeAndre Swift. We're setting up on a passing situation here. So, I don't think I want to go with too much risk here. But a flanker drive, chill and waddle. Does look like a good solution. That's going to be third and two. We can work with that. Let's go to the halfback dive. And it showed me Dander Swift, but we're going to go with Bijan. Take it down here. Don't make it. Third and one. Only one yard the game. JT Tumalo. Looking very solid. And. I mean, let's not be crazy here. We're going to go with a halfback. So on left-hand side, away from Pat Queen. But I want to keep on rumbling. Take him down here as we're hit with a two-minute warning. Bijan, the Texas Longhorn. Great job here. We have to focus on our strengths. And one of those strengths definitely is the run game. But we also have very good passing options. We've got Waddle, Mayer on the short route, Collins, Chase. Smacked over here. I wish Collins would have gone for that because that would have been a beautiful connection. Let's go to the mesh spot. Michael Mayer, Jalen Waddle. Can I put Jamar Chase on a slant here? Second and 10, we do get four yards. Not really what I wanted to see, but also not terrible. 
Mary here towards the right hand side. Let's go an inside zone run here. I think we should be able to surprise them. Ah, we can't do that. First and ten. One minute eighteen on the board. Bijan Robinson. Great job here. To the right, you can see Emmanuel Ogba barely on screen. And that was super important to get that done. All right, so let's go to the mesh spot here. Bo Collins looks like a good receiver here. Do we hit them with a bench? Let's go to the bench here. Maybe Michael Mary will be able to get into that end zone. I would say that's pass interference. Yes, well, that was great. Cameron Curl, that was a clear, clear interference on Michael Mayer. We're gonna go with Bijan Robinson now, left hand side run. Let's go. And another flag here. All right. Austin Jackson with a penalty. Second to go, hour at the 13. That is definitely not what I wanted to see here. Let's go with the mesh. We've got Collins on a good route. Bench switch. Let's go. Smack the way here. Trudavis White is everywhere. It's really hard to get the ball past him. So what do we do now? We have 41 seconds to go. Let's try southeast corner. At the minute, I don't want to be too aggressive here. But I just feel like we should get something out of this. There we go. Taken down. Fourth and goal. 11 yards out. The timeout called here by the Bills because obviously they are noticing that they'll get something out of this. The big question is what do I want to do? I'm going to go with a field goal. There we go. Perfectly timed kick. Well done. And that worked well. Tyler Bass puts it straight between the sticks. We get our first points on the board away in Buffalo. Let's go. Come on, D. All right, defense can't hold them, but we start again here in the third quarter. And they're stacking up on the right side. Don't really like this too much. We're going to go with a Y stick, but we're going to flip it. We want to have DJ Johnson ready. Almost picked. DJ Johnson didn't look to be free. But I feel like he would have been the better choice. Yeah, it was completely free. That was a bad read by me. That was a very bad read. Let's go to halfback slam here. Let's try and force it. 63. Alright, the power is high for Bijan Robinson, but we can't push past three players slip screens haven't really worked so far I don't know why and there we go we got the first down but shoved out of bounds at the 37 here and here we go Jalen Phillips and the defense talking things through here Here we go. Let's go to the bench. Hmm, they're going back. But I think Jalen Waddle. Ah, pass Queen catches up to him. Four and nine turn currently for Talia. 80 yards. Jalen Waddle gets this great reception here. That was really beautiful. And Talia has improved so much. So much over the course 
of his career with the Dolphins. Absolutely fantastic. Rumpley, right hand side. Have really got Bo Collins involved a lot. Right, well then, set. Wait a moment, why is it second and ten? Did he drop it? Gets the ball. Oh damn it, the ball came free. Hmm. Right, let's try a slip screen. We got one going before, so let's be super optimistic here. <laughs> the funny breathing is always when I go for the stiff arms. It's just that exhalation so loud. All right, Bijan, let's go. Left hand side. I want to see you crush, dominate, push. First and 10 at the 24, number 99. Manages to hold us. I would like to get that hole. Let's see, would there have been a better hole? Mm, straight up the. Uh, would have been queen there. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I recently found out that that was a catchphrase for The Rock when he was still in wrestling. It's actually pretty funny. If you don't know it, take a look at uh, on Graham Norton's show. Really funny. Let's go. Jalen Waddle. Oh my lord. Slapped away. Maybe we should have gone through here with a pass. Looking pretty nice over there on that out, actually. Let's go to 95, Mike. Mm. Maybe I should have gone to the far left. But uh, we do get forward third and two at the 15 yard line. Two minutes left in the third quarter. We are nudging forward here. Let's go over here. Powering forward to the seven yard line. Bijan is, I would say he's one of the most important players to my offensive play. Because he does get held. Sometimes we can always go with pass plays then. But whenever we really get limited on the passing, we can count on him. Let's go with a quick base, left hand side. If I were to go with Jalen Waddle here, would I regret that? We are held here at the five yard line. Gonna go on the inside zone, the right hand side. Pat Queen is there, but we're trying to get them away, of course. And we shove in. We shove in here beautifully with Bijan. And absolutely awesome. Such an important part. He and Tali are really forming a nice duo. And here we go. <laughs> Three players trying to hold him. But to no avail. Come on defense. Come on defense. Now we can't hold them. Final quarter. And Josh Allen can't be held. And off we go. Get the first down. Breaking through here would have been so beautiful. <laughs> but, I mean, wishful thinking is allowed, right? Tredavious White covering that area so well. Let us go with a halfback single zone here. Not really liking the options. Four yards here on that first rush. Let's go to the halfback slam. Right up the middle. They're stacking quite tightly here. We will now be putting Jamar Chase on that slant. 
There we go. Good yardage up to the 45. Three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And Jamar Chase leads us forward. Talia. Really great. Really great job. Let us go with a cross drag here. But we are gonna change this to zone. Do you wanna have a zone fake jet? Let's try this. Jesus, number 97, two yards only on that. Slip screen. Next up, left hand side run. Oh my lord. That was a little bit too high here. Hmm. Buffalo Bills defense is really tough. It always is, always has been. You can insert the meme here. <laughs> but definitely very good coverage and he's just covered they are covering us so well gonna go with mayor or chase first and ten well done super important super important that we got that one here I hope he dragged his right foot. Yes, he did. Maybe you can see it in slow motion here, but I gave him... I'm going to show you here. I gave him a new helmet. I just felt like that uh, like that old school helmet that he was using didn't really represent his quality. I gave him this one here. It's the... Uh, I think it's the uh, Revenge Shot 7 something. I also gave him the robot face mask. Really, I feel like this uh, gives him a little bit more of that powerful look, matching the way that he plays. All right, let's go with Waddle here. Or do I go with Bijan? All right, Mayor was free, so I did go with him, of course. Two minute warning. 10 and 17. This is an open game, man. This is really open. Should be able to get this. Get this converted here. Not liking this one a lot. But I feel like. Mm, I wanted to turn. Oh, ah, I did. All right. So Jalen Waddle gets the ball here at the 20 yard line in the fourth quarter. And I think it's time to start pounding the rock here. Let's go. Five yards on the first go. Let's go to play action crosser, setting up rather wide. Inside zone. And off we go. 63, come across him. Ah, oh, that stiff arm was beautiful. 1 minute 28. First and goal. I don't want to waste too much time now, to be honest. I think Jamar Chase. Good God. And that was... That was the worst thing I could have done. Oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> That's the game. The game felt open. I should have just run the ball, man. Why did I do that? It's so often my decision making is so bad. Man, that sucks. Man, that sucks. We've always had a hard time against the Bills over the years. Oh man, zero touchdowns, one interception, 47% completion rate. That is not enough. That is not enough. 106 yards. <laughs> Why did I do that, guys? 
74 yards receiving. Donovan Peoples Jones, Jalen Waddle was good. Mary was good. Oh man. Tackle leader, Patrick McQueen. Tackles for loss, quite a few here. Sack leader, Bobby Wagner. With Afi away. And one interception by Dante Jackson. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the up and down continues, guys. We are now <laughs> three and four. Would have liked to go up, to be honest. But the Bills just proved to be too hard to stop, also for our defense. Uh, it was really a back and forth, but whenever they were on the ball, they just scored. But we were so close to drawing, and then, then I just gave them that damn ball again. Really, I could go crazy with the amount of interceptions that I'm giving away. It really, really pisses me off a lot. Talia did so well, he really, really yeah, is improving so much. I can feel it the way he plays, the way he feels. But with this, with this, it was just the worst decision I could have made at the end. Oh, guys. I would have liked to show you a win. Couldn't do that. Hope you enjoy the episode, though. Um, hope you're enjoying being back with the Dolphins again. Let's see what we can pull off next week against the Browns. Week 8, a home game. That is a positive for us. Then the Broncos away, and then bye week. And we're slowly approaching the trade window as well. So uh, the end of the trade window. So we're going to... Maybe take a last look at some free agents, something like that. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you a lot. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking the time watching my content. And as always, see you next time.